Late last night, the news broke that Sega is releasing an Astro City mini arcade cabinet with 36 arcade classic games. It's supposed to come out toward the end of the year in Japan. We don't know if it's coming to the West or not, but I am still excited for this thing. Last night, we talked about some of the games that have already been announced for it. Golden Axe Revenge of Death Adder, freaking amazing for the first time ever outside of arcades. Hell yeah, sign me up right now. I know there were some mixed emotions. Some people were like, we don't want another mini console. Why couldn't they make a tabletop? I get it. I would love to have a tabletop as well, but I'm still really excited for this. So there's a lot more information we need to know from this thing. But today I do have a little bit more information I want to share with you guys. So if you didn't watch my previous video, it's a real short one. Go check it out. Would appreciate it. But let's just get right into it. Talk about the stuff I wanted to show you guys today. So like I said, we already talked about the first 10 games, the price and whatnot. Now, there's just so much more to learn from this thing, but we did know that there's supposed to be additional controllers that they're gonna sell to be able to use with this thing, as there are those two USB ports on the back. You can plug this into your TV. We still gotta wait and see how the output looks, but I'm sure they have learned from previous companies' mistakes, at least I hope so. Let others come out there and make their mistakes, and then you make a better product. That's what I'm hoping for, and that's what it looks like. So I do have an image, not the greatest image ever, but I do have an image of what the controller looks like and the dimensions and price. So 26 US dollars that's converted from the, you know, the yen price that they have announced for it. And this information came from a post that was removed from Sega Toys. So this information is kind of hard to come by, but I snagged up as much as I could. So that's what the controller looks like. Those are the dimensions, 5.9 inches wide for how you're gripping it, right? Now, that's a little wider than a Super Nintendo controller. Super Nintendo controller is 5.7 inches wide, or just slightly under that, um, comfortable in my hands. So this is just slightly bigger, slightly bigger, and then, as far as this way goes on that controller, it's 2.6 inches. On the Super Nintendo controller, it's 2.4 inches. So that's a little bit higher, just slightly higher. Now, the interesting thing here, when I first saw this, how thick it is, the thickness, right? 1.2 inches. I thought that sounds really thick. That's what she said. But when you look at the Super Nintendo controller, um, and I've looked up the dimensions, they said this was uh, 0.6, like, a little more than a half an inch thick, but that's not fully the case. So I'm curious with that. How is that gonna be twice as thick as this? It's not, because check it out. If you measure from the front of the Super Nintendo controller, the thickness, it is 0.6 inches. You measure from the back and it's just under an inch, just about an inch. So the Super Nintendo controller at its thickest point is about an inch thick. This at its thickest point, which is what I'm imagining, is gonna be 1.2 inches thick. There you go. Doesn't look like a bad controller from what I could see, but that image, I tried sharpening it up the best I could, but six button layout with your select and start and the D-pad. Not sure what the length on the cable is going to be, but with that USB, hopefully it's long enough. But I would imagine if this thing is really popular, there'll be other solutions. We'll find other controllers we could use. It would be dope. If we could use the retro bit um, Sega Saturn controllers, the wireless ones, that would be awesome. We'll have to wait and find out. I'm sure somebody will figure that out or a company like Mayflash or Brook or somebody or 8-Bit Do, they'll come out with an adapter that works. We'll have to wait and see. It just really depends on how many units they make and how popular this thing is, right? So you've probably already seen we do have the measurements of the uh, Astro City Mini Cab as well. And... I did want to mention, because looking at the measurements on that thing, 6.7 inches tall. So if you have a Neo Geo Mini, you can kind of compare because th it's not exactly the same. This is actually bigger. The Astro City is bigger than this, but not by a lot. So on this Neo Geo Mini that I have right here, what is this? The, uh, the, the Asian release, I believe. Um, there's so many of them. God. Or the U.S. version that's in this body. There's two of them that look exactly the same, but they're not. Um, this guy right here, that's 6.7 inches tall. This at its tallest point is 6.5 inches tall, okay? On that bad boy, 
the Astro City is 5.12 inches wide. So this way. On this guy, it's um, it's uh, 4.25. I was double checking my numbers. It's like, wait a minute. 4.25 at its thickest point, right? Now, the depth going how deep. That guy's 6.7, so it's the same as how tall it is, right? This one is 5.25 going this way. So that, that one's a little bit bigger than this, but not by a lot. The width is definitely the biggest uh, thing going on there as far as difference between this one and that. You get a little, little, little extra width on it, right? So 119 US dollars. We'll have to wait and see um, if it does get announced for the US. I really hope it does. Otherwise, I am going to have to import it, but I'm really curious. We got to wait and see what other games are announced. But I just wanted to share this little bit of information as far as the controller and, you know, the system itself, the size on it. Just a little little bit of information, right? So 26 bucks for a controller, 120 for the system. There we go. Appreciate you guys watching. With that said, I will catch you all next time. Peace out. Bye-bye and boom. Bye.